Hey, are you wondering how Huawei Watch Fit 3 and the Apple Watch SE2 count calories, steps, distance and heart rate? I decided to put on my shoes, tie them and check it for you. And this is a short comparison of how these two devices perform in the walking test. Okay, so as you can see, it was actually the outdoor walk. And uh, when we take a look on the distance, I have to go into these details, it's almost the same. When you take a look on the calories, and there's 84 on the Watch Fit 3, 91 on the Apple Watch SE2, but we are actually missing the total kilocalories on the Watch Fit 3, unfortunately, but we've got definitely more data from the Huawei Watch Fit 3. Take a look. When I scroll down, um, I can find, for example, the average pace, and the same I can find on the Watch Fit 3, but I don't have the average speed, uh, stuff about steps, We've got average heart rate, it's actually the same, the 109, but we don't have, for example, steps. Mm, we don't have information about VO2 max. And uh, when I scroll and go for the heart rate, I can check this and I can do the same for the Watch Fit 3. And take a look how it looks. For some reason, I mean, I just about to say that I don't have this hard reasons, but yeah, it's right here. It's better visible on the iPhone actually, but it's the same on the Watch Fit 3. And when I scroll down, I can find another information about the pace and the steps. And that we can take a look on the route, on the map, on the both devices. So as you can see, that's all. And if you are wondering if this data is actually correct, I can only tell you that Apple Watches are one of the most accurate devices. And um, Definitely Apple Watch SE2 is also one of the most accurate and you can check this information by going into the Quantify Scientist channel. It's a great guy that, that he's actually doing amazing comparison uh, between the smartwatches and uh, real medical uh, devices. So uh, that's all for this video. Right now, please subscribe to my channel and see you in the next one.